You could be an artist or band, promoter or venue. You need to know how to promote your shows to your potential audience. Here's a few areas for you to consider. First off is social media. Not because it's the most important, but it's the most widely used. It's easy to get completely lost on social media due to the huge number of bands and artists. Not to mention the fact that there are a huge number of different social medias as well. Most bands and artists will know how to create a Facebook event page, inviting all of the band members' friends and trying to spread the word online. This is important, but personally, I don't believe it has anywhere near the conversion rate that people believe it has. So social media should be one of many ways you promote a concert. Also, try to find innovative ways to promote on social media. Record a viral video promoting your concert. Offer an incentive to those who attend. Even if it's just one free drink for one lucky attendee. Be creative. Don't just assume a Facebook event will do. You'll soon wonder why there are so few people at the gig. For me, as an ex-concert promoter of 10 years, flyering was, and still is, one of the most important aspects of promoting. Because you have that human element, that interaction with people and fellow music fans, and that is what is missing with a number of bands and promoters nowadays. When you think about it, flyering is pretty simple. Research the city you're about to play in. Look at what similar genre gigs are happening in the weeks coming up to your event. Print off as many flyers as you can, and after the gig, hand them out. Talk to as many people as possible. Ask them how the gig went, and get to know them. Flyering led to me having regulars at my gigs, because I took the time to talk and make friends with a whole bunch of people, and introduce them to the concerts I was putting on. The difference between interacting when flyering and social media is that it's far too easy to ignore social media. And let's be honest, if it says there's a hundred people attending on the Facebook event page, the chances are it's more likely to be about 10. So, create an attractive but simple flyer with all the following information and anything else that may help sell the show. And if you want any ideas, just comment below. Print off as many flyers as you can and interact with people. Be polite, get to the point, and try to win them round without harassing them. The more time and effort you put into promoting a show in person, the more you'll get out of it. It can be hard to stand out above other bands and gigs, but advertising can help you further your reach. If you want to go far with your music career, you have to start taking certain aspects of it seriously. My advice is to create a list of local and national magazines, newspapers, websites, blogs, radio and television shows that might be able to plug your upcoming gigs. Create a clear and concise email that can be personalised for each contact that gives them all the information they may need. Send them out, and if you haven't heard back within, say, 10 days, chase them up. Also, use any local contacts you have to get the word out. But I must stress, it's important to personalise your emails, otherwise there's a good chance that they'll just be ignored. There's also the option of paying for advertising on social media. Facebook's boosted posts and Twitter's sponsored tweets are a valid option in reaching an audience in a certain location who aren't connected with you yet. In this scenario, create a short, persuasive message that encourages the viewer to click the link and connect with you. I'll leave that to your imagination though. So that's a brief introduction to promoting gigs. It's surprising how many people underestimate the importance of human interaction when it comes to promoting or performing for that matter. If you've only created a Facebook event and you think that is going to sell the show, expect to have a very poor turnout. Upcoming videos will discuss how to promote an album or music video release for bands and artists. There's also going to be a Q&A soon, so if you have any questions about the music industry, about advice, or anything you want to know about my experiences, then comment below with your question and I'll add it to the list. As always, any help posting this on social media, sharing this with your friends, or inviting people to subscribe to this channel really does help. I really appreciate all the views and kind words that I've got so far. So thank you for that. Thanks for watching, and let's talk music on social media. The links will follow. Until next time.